our first journey to Gondoan begins, but first things first, let's go to the Toby Docks. As we see a little something that is very interesting with the tourists from Calais, as they seem to be having a problem trying to get back over to their homeland. Very interesting. But by the way, what's happening everybody? This is Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance. In today's episode, we are going to go to Gondolin for the first time, and we are going to make our way through both the town of Suhala and the Suhala Desert. But uh, for right now, we are here at the Tolby Docks to talk to the tourists who are in Calais, because there seems to be a little trouble, a little trouble with the tour guides trying to get them back, as they don't seem to want to take responsibility for bringing them back. But let's go ahead and get on with this episode that's already in progress. I was hired to be in your way. Please let it go. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Talk about some selfish tour guides. Hiring a bodyguard? You're wasting time on us? Then why don't you try to find a way to get us back home? Wow. So, looks like they're not going to be able to get back home from their current position. And to be honest, I don't think they would want to go back through the Caragol Sea as they would have to try to find a different means to get back to where they came from. And trust me, there is a way to get back over to the northern part of Angara, but I won't be delving into that until a little bit later. But for now, let's go ahead and make our trip over to Gondolin, and I think I am going the wrong way. I think it's just exactly south of Tolby. Yeah, as I thought. Okay, so we head down here. Well, oh, we're always going to keep getting interrupted by just random enemy encounters, it seems. Don't worry, you can run away from the battles. I would recommend not fighting every battle if you want to reserve your hit points and all that. But anyway, here we are at the Babby... I mean, the way through the Gondoan Passage. And we are finally here in the continent of Gondoan. Or Gondoan. The northern part, that is. If we go up north here some ways, or somewhere around here, there should be a way... Actually, I think it's a little bit south to just a little bit south of the Gondolin Passage, but there is a cave that will lead us back to Calais, but as I said, we're not going to take it right away. We're going to go to a little town called Suhala, which is just right over yonder, right over there. And when we're going through the continent of Gondolin, most of the place is pretty arid with the desert, but not as arid and dry as the other de desert, you know, the Lakaman Desert, or the Lamakan Desert. It's pretty, it's a lot more cooler, so at least we can get through that desert without any problems. But we are fighting some newer enemies, like the Kobold and the Warrior Bee, for instance, so at least we're learning a, a little bit something new about this place. Okay, here we are at Suhala. And there are some things that we can actually do here before we move on, like there are some treasures that we can get inside the, ins the items that, or the uh, objects that we can ex inspect. And if we climb up here with growth, there should be somebody that we can talk to who mentions something about a treasure chest just a little bit beyond here. But uh, actually, he's talking about the sandstorm, so I guess that was really pointless. But there is a treasure chest right behind that end, but there is a specific way on how we can get over there. Where there's a will, there's a way, gamers. Okay, so let's go inside the house to see if we can try to find anything. Uh, nothing. Okay. Try over here. Nothing, nothing is glowing. Sadness! The old couple's house? Is there nothing over here? There is, inside the uh, cooking oven. And we got ourselves a smoke bomb, a worthless item. Great. Okay, and we got some soldiers from Tolby. And they seem to know Eodum. So let's go ahead and check out to see what is happening here. And they were supposed to be heading to the lighthouse. But why could they not go to the lighthouse? I wonder. You were escorting to she escorting Sheba to Lolly Vero, were you not? And they said they have disgraced uh, Tolby. And uh, they are about to tell us where this Sheba is. And so you know, and just so you know, Sheba is a female, and she does play an integral role in the sequel, The Lost Age. By the way. She, Sheba was the reason, was the sole reason Lolly Vero, Lolly Vero aided in our construction, and we entrusted you with Sheba to speed up the construction. Was that a mistake? 
and Shiba wasn't in the stand sandstorm, so looks like she's a little bit safe. And they shield her at risk. I wonder if it has something to do with Saturos and Minority kidnapping her. Hmm. We must go to the desert and find Shiva. Beware of that cyclone. Well, I think there's pretty much something that we can use to avoid the sandstorms. There were others who were able to make it through the storm. So yeah, I figured as much it was Saturos and Minority's group. So yeah. Looks like they have kidnapped Shiba for their own purposes. And besides, each lighthouse needs an adept of a certain clan in order to activate it. And I think Shiba is probably an adept, which is why they took her. The sandstorms are caused by monsters. Okay, so that's good to know, but how can we get past the sandstorms? They slayed the beast, that's how they got through. Who? What are they? When the storm stopped, they would move ahead, but a new storm always appeared, so... Yeah! We had to bring barrels filled with water, so it looks like the sandstorm's weakness are water... The sandstorm... The weakness of the sandstorms is water. And that's a good thing for us, because we do have the douse ability for Mia, and we can use that on the sandstorms, and we should be able to... We should be able to get past them, and take care of the monsters. So yeah, it was... Satoru's a minority that took Shiba. And we're gonna have to cross the Suhala Desert in order to get past there and to make it all the way towards Lalivero. And the Venus Lighthouse is located near it as well, so. Okay, so first things first, before we get out of here, as I said before, we want to grab that treasure chest that was so far away from us. I think we can actually get something that's right over in that jar over there, but let's check this out. Okay, cool, we got a hard nut, so we should be able to increase our defenses again. And let's go ahead and use that hard nut on Isaac. And his defense increased by one point? Oh, wow. Bad. Let's go ahead and... Eh, let's go ahead and check real quick. Yep, as I thought. We're gonna have to go around. But what could be in there, might you ask? Ah, it's a lucky metal. So we can go back to Tolby in case if we want to play the... The whole game where we can throw lucky medals inside that that uh, bowl or whatever to get some prizes but I think we pretty much got all the prizes that that game offers so but it, I'm gonna go back and check just to make sure once we have enough on our plate okay we got about five coins Ugh. so talk about low coins coming out of everything and as I said from before the number of objects that you can expect inspect that have items in them are much more in Dark Dawn, but in the Game Boy Advance games, they seem to be less. Okay, so... Yeah, nothing new with the rarities from the artifacts in the item shop, and there's not a weapon shop anywhere in this place, so... I think we can get out of here and head to the Suhala Desert. Like the pathway toward... Is it not there? Yeah, I didn't think so, so... It's just exactly south of the Gondwan Passage, where we can find the cave that will lead us back to Calais, as I thought. But I just had to make sure if it wasn't that way or not. Or if it was that way or not. But anyway, now the Suhala Desert is within our reach, and that is the next place where we want to go. And by the time we enter the Suhala Desert, we will be safe for the most part, but we will have to... Embrace the sandstorm that's about to ensue. Dirty apes. Didn't we take care of some dirty apes? Probably did. Let me see. Oh, dang it. Yeah, might as well go ahead and take a look to see if it's there or not. And let's just hope that rat warrior doesn't even try to run away. Oh no, it's trying to use a smoke bomb on us. And it looks like Isaac was wrapped in delusion, so he can't even see. Bummer. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rat. But you had to go bye-bye. Yep, so uh, not much going on in this episode, except we are making a bit more progress than we have from the previous one. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. And it looks like it wasn't south of the Gondwan Passage Bridge, or the Gondwan Bridge. 
Is it over here? It's gotta be over here. And there's a warrior being another kobold, so... Yeah. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you all are enjoying your lovely Wednesday. I know I am, and uh, I'm still presenting you with lots more Golden Sun goodness. Wish there was a lot more I could talk about, and I still haven't heard anything back on the jobs yet, but... But hopefully that is about to change, but even though if I do get a job, then I will have to put in some extra effort to make sure that I at least get an episode a day of my Let's Plays in for you guys, because I still want to entertain you folks. If I can't get that to happen, then there's probably going to have to be a bit more... Uh, there's going to have to be some cutting down on the number of episodes per week if I'm starting to work two full-time jobs, if that's the case. But I will reserve my judgment to see where things go in case if, you know, if I do have to work two part-time jobs. Okay, so we got some more dirty apes, and I can't believe it. It wasn't even south of Gondwan Passage. Is it just south of the Suhala Desert? Because we haven't even checked there yet? And we haven't even gone past it yet? Probably, but it's hard to say. Boy, those dirty apes are not really being nice, are they? Okay, so... Let's go ahead and take care of the warrior bees right now. But, but I will tell you for the most part, if I actually do get those two part-time jobs, then it would be more like a full-time job. And then I can be saving my money for the Wii U when it comes out this holiday season. So that's a big plus right there. And finally, I can get back on track with trying to buy some more games and all that stuff, but I'm putting that as my second priority while I take care of some other things, like some other personal finances as my first priority. Like trying to... Nah, I really don't want to say much, but... Anyways, and we got an orc captain here. I think that's the other time we fight, we fight against an orc of any kind in the game. Peggy. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Yep, and a Brutal Troll, which is another skin of the regular troll, with the uh, purple colors. But it's pretty easy to defeat, even though it likes to raise its attack power a whole lot. But we got it for the most part. Okay, so I think it's just beyond the Suhala Desert where we need to see the cave entrance that will lead us back to the northern part of Angara. And here are the tornadoes that are happening that are and are causing the sandstorm. And if we don't make it past the the tornadoes, then we can't get through. Then we can't make our way to the Babby Lighthouse. But as I said, if you have douse on you, which is most likely the case, since we got that from back over in Alton, then you should be fine with subduing the sandstorms to get past them. And I figure that they that Satoros and Minardi's group were able to pass the sandstorms was because of Alex being in the party. And Alex is a is a Mercury Adept who can pretty much cause the sandstorms to wither down based on his water abilities. And here's another one. Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, use the Douse ability. And every time when you try to calm down a sandstorm like that, you will end up fighting a boss. Well, basically just a normal enemy, but one that offers a lot of hit points. And these... Excuse me. These guys are known as Tornado Lizards. And yeah, these are the first of the lizards that we will fight in this desert. There's actually a couple more, but uh, for the most part, they are pretty much the same, even though some of them have different abilities than others. But they're mostly the same, because they are wind type of creatures, and they like to cause a bunch of uh, Jupiter uh, synergy abilities. Okay, um, af after we defeat one of these tornado lizards, then we can get access to this way. And we get a Virtuous Armlet from the treasure chest. And can we uh, give that to Isaac to see how much that increases his defenses? Okay, Garrett, let's go ahead and give that... Well, actually, we need to give that to both Ivan and Mia. And I think Ivan will take the honor of wearing the Virtuous Armlet. Since his defenses are a lot shorter than everybody else. Okay, another battle ensues. And we got a couple more Brutal Trolls, and they attack us by surprise. So they're in for the element of surprise in this battle, but it's time for us to put them in their place. And one of them was using brute force again. And I know that the trolls like to raise their attack power, so that's for sure. Okay, we get 300 experience points, which is not bad. Go ahead and use Wish, and let's go ahead and do a number on this next Tornado Lizard. 
douse right here, and then we should be able to subdue the windstorm. Or the tornado. Okay, go ahead and just do what we do best. Yeah, so this is, we're not going to get through the whole Suhala Desert in this episode, as we're pretty much going to be mostly consisted of the first screen of the place. But we won't be able to get past it, because there are a lot of these windstorm, torna sandstorm tornadoes taking place within the Suhala Desert. And they take up a vast majority of the whole place, and you will have to fight these enemies again if you go back and forth through the place, if you need to go back to Tolby, or if you need to go to Lalibero. So yeah, it's a never-ending process, but at least you get a lot of experience points for defeating these guys. But you actually do get a lot more at the at the uh, Crossbone Isle. But that's something we won't set, we won't get into until a little bit later. Okay, let's go ahead and use Douse on this wind, on this sandstorm or this tornado, and we'll find ourselves another tornado lizard. And let's do a number on it again we can get some more experience points and some more levels up levels for our characters. Yeah, as I said, it's a good place to grind, too, so. And you know what? This would probably be a good spot to where we can actually use some of our genes, or some of our gene in this battle. Why do we get, why do I always keep calling them genes? It's gene. Okay. And since this is, well, actually, I think it would probably be weak against Earth-based powers because of, it, of the Tornado Lizard using Jupiter-based spells. The Weasel Claw? Eh, I don't think the Weasel Claws are going to do that much, so we'll just go ahead and throw them away. Yeah, if you, if you feel there are some items you don't need, then go ahead and drop them. Now, if we come over here, we open up this, it's another treasure chest. But, it's in the shape of a Mimic. So yeah, another Mimic has come to give us a lot of trouble. And we might as well go ahead and use some more Gene on him. Or Gene on it. Gene on it! Gosh, why am I having trouble trying to speak today? I think it's because I was out of the out of the house for about a few hours uh, visiting a friend of mine. And we went out and ate lunch together. And we had a fun time trying to, uh, you know, talk about some things. But for the most part, yeah, I think I'm just kind of getting a little bit tired, but, you know, wouldn't really hurt to be out of the house every once in a while. Okay, we're going to use Ramses on this enemy, and he doesn't really take that much damage. And now he's going to use Side Drain on us, but it doesn't have any effect, so we're safe! Okay, Atalanta, using the Wind Arrows to attack his foe. Okay, now we're going to use Naraid, the Geisha, who is in the alliance with water. Then we're going to use Kareen. All right, Kareem does some damage, but it do it's not enough to take it down. Oh boy, ice missiles, seriously? Okay, and Ivan is about dead, so we better hurry up and finish up this enemy really quickly, or else we're not gonna do very, we're not gonna do very well in this battle. And for the most part, I don't think this enemy has any more hit points on him. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so we managed to feed it with a high amount of experience points, and we got a Water of Life at the end of that battle. Alright, since we have taken care of that battle and started with the Suhala Desert, I think this is probably a good spot to where we can go ahead and we can wrap up things here. So next time on Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance, we're going to resume where we left off, and we're going to finish up Suhala Desert in its entirety to make sure that we get, our, get on with getting to Lalivero in the process. Alright gamers, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description, and if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Anyway gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next episode. Oh, and be sure to check out my Facebook fan, t uh, fan page, Double RPG for Views, if you haven't. Anyway, I shall see you on the next episode, guys, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then.